Hello, fellow travelers. Welcome to Respawn Station. Today, we're going to be watching the THQ Nordic Digital Showcase for 2024. Uh, ha just happened live uh, on August 2nd, and we are we are about 30 minutes behind, so right as it ended, we are watching it. Dramatic entrance here. Uh, real quick... They've been emailing us about this uh, <laughs> this event. They've, we've gotten some of the press releases and stuff. And one thing, along with Gothic 1 Remake, Titan Quest 2, the game that they hinted at is one, two, three, four, five words. The first word's the, and the second word starts with an E. And I don't know anything else, so let's, let's keep an eye out for that one. Handy 9000. Is that what they said in the email, that it's the E bling bling? It's, it's, well, it's like they gave like a, a bunch of blanks. And the first one is three letters, two blanks, and the last letter is E. So I'm guessing it's the. And then the yeah, the second word has E, and then we don't see anything else. All right, here we go. This is a really cool intro that they have going. Oh wait, is this the pre-show? Because there is a pre-show with Handy Games. Oh yeah, this is the Handy Games pre-show. It says in the bottom left. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realize that Handy Games was a THQ Nordic. Welcome to the Handy Games Archive. Hello. My name is Handy9000, <laughs> and I was created to guide you through the Handy Games AI showcase of 2024. What? There are new entries I think this is AI, AI or voice actor. Access game, odds parks, I think it's... Automation adventure. Commencing data I think it's a real person. So, oh, Joe. Alexa, there's also a game that we will, is confirmed to be seeing at the showcase is Disney Epic Mi Mickey's Rebrushed. Sorry, that's a terrible way to say that name, but yeah. it's a- uh, This is cute. You see it, yeah. Odd Sparks, it's an like automation a, adventure. Yeah, so it's kind of like, you know, one of those like simulation games almost. You like build your own town, but with more it seems. Yep. This is really loud for me. Yeah, I turned it down a lot. Like in just, you know, the like sound thing on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Odd Sparks. Cute name. Ooh, Trains and Trades coming 2024. Cool. So the game's already out, I would guess, then. It's just there's a big update coming out August. Attachment to this data entry. Which is now. <gasps> would you like to proceed? It's a cool, like, idea that they have here. So one thing... uh I do want to say is that uh, we were not going to go like super in depth uh, after the showcase Ooh, okay. about it's everything. Play demo now. Alexa, it's a perfect. This is a perfect I opportunity for that. a certain mm. game or a certain show we're starting soon. We're starting soon. Starting soon. Um, we're not going to go super in depth after this showcase about each of the games announced, but we'll do that on our weekly podcast, the Response Station podcast. So keep an eye out for that as well. Head to responsestation.com. Lethal Honor, Order of the Apocalypse. Handy games. What else have they done? Because I feel like I, they're very familiar. Wreckfest. Uh, Oh my God, Alexa! Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah. Okay. That's who made, is made is this? The, is a publisher a Handy Games? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And Link Extinction is forever. You're still traumatized. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, pile up box by box. That game was so fun. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> Ch uh, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. So you the remaster. Played that, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I played Cosmic Shake. I can see how you get confused. Oh, sorry. Okay, I was correct. This was the game I was looking for. Alexa, do you remember a little game called Little Big Workshop? Oh, yes. That's also them. Okay, I thought they sounded familiar. Now, obviously, multiple games have I played. There's a, there's quite a bit more that I'm that not reading. Really I'm just kind of reading the ones that are uh, really fun. relevant to the conversation here. But, uh... It seems they started off on these kind of small mobile games almost, and then they've evolved. 
entry on human on. rituals for food gathering discovered. <gasps> oh, they did. Uh, th actually, Alexa, I stand corrected. I, it's, Is that grass? It seems that they also did do Cosmic Shake. Though I think that that's... Uh, okay. Partly also ah, just good. because okay. oh. you don't need to go out in real ga grass. You can just see the virtual ga grass. <laughs> virtual gas. Grass. <laughs> oh, there is virtual gas right there. Uh, I have played this game. If I were, is this called the Wild, right? Or am I wrong? No, it's Way of the Hunter. Oh, Way of the Hunter. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Way of the Hunter. Yes, yeah, this is the game I played. This game. Coming to soon. Oh my God! I think I understand oh, so now. Playing on iPad. So handy games. <laughs> I, I yes, I could do that. So I think what what it is. So Cosmic Shake is published by THQ Nordic, but I think they're the iOS ports. Endling is available on mobile. Let me check. I could see it. The house mouse. I have something to show you. Yeah, it this is. is it's on Google Play Store, Galaxy Store, and at the Apple App Store. So I think those versions of the like the mobile ports of all the games that I said I think are done by Handy Games. Well, they also like that one Oddspark game. You know, it's coming to PlayStation and Xbox. Seems from them too. That's true. So they do more, but, but I, I still think they expanded. Mostly, but it is seems yeah, yeah. a lot they of it is like they mostly do mobile. It seems. But yeah. hey, this cool. one's gonna be on everything. It said. Are you interested in this game, Siri? No, but I, I didn't know they you lent your likeness to this game, Alexa. That's crazy. Wow. Frogs. No longer like it. Damn, that is a big tote. <laughs> that is a big tote. Rats Quest. The Way Back Home. I just I saw like that. I you would really like this game. I, th I think so as well. I just saw that on the list, and I was like, wow, Rats, Qu <laughs> Rats Quest. <laughs> when I asked, do you like this? You said no, but I didn't. <laughs> Well, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not I sold with it. Really the like concept it. looks cool. The gameplay looks a little rough. That's why I wasn't mm, I see, I fully see. on board. I'm not going to commit to it. Start the world premiere. Handy 9000, do you read me? Sorry. I'm afraid I can't do that. No. Handy 9000, approve content. This is why we can't trust AI. This is why... We don't trust the AI. Do it. No, 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 no. I was new handy 9000 would turn against us. It's kind of like my room to be honest. <laughs> World premiere. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I love it. Now, kids, that's called a VHS tape. And that, that they put it into, is a VHS player. Tattoo Tycoon? <laughs> you love your tycoon games. Oh, man. And I and I love me tattoos. Says the guy with I, I got a lot of tattoos. This whole beard, fun fact, is all tattoos. There's nothing here. I can't grow facial hair. The option there was chat about Oh, my werewolves. God. You actually I have to, you, to you actually do the tattoos. That's sick, actually. That was a, yeah, that's a cool way. To, if, if that is how that works. I think it looked like it was you tracing it, yeah. Wow. Thanks for watching. Probably that, not all the time. That it was, was a quick, like a mini game. That was a quick uh, pre-show. Now let's get into the yeah. main event. <gasps> no. Oh, okay. I got scared. I thought I ended ending a thousand would be... What? Okay. We got a whole minute and a half to talk. So. All right. That was a good pre-show. <laughs> um, I like handy yeah. games. So. Uh, what was your favorite of those pre-show games? Quick. I like Probably Odd's Tattoo part. Tycoon, to be honest. And also Tattoo Tycoon, yeah. <laughs> tattoo Tycoon, yeah, tattoo, tattoo, tattoo Tycoon, Tattoo Tycoon. Tattoo Tycoon. <laughs> tattoo tycoon. <laughs> you didn't even say it once. Um, tattoo Tycoon. Uh, but but I think that rat game, look, I like, uh, I like rats. Rats Quest. Yes, but it looks a little shaky. But also, one of my favorite games that I played last year, I think it was last year, yeah. I mean, maybe it was two years ago, was yeah, a ghost, yeah. the ghost of a Tale. That was fun. And that was a I watched great game. Uh, so there's still a chance. But uh, a rat's quest, Matt is a young male that rat that lives. I don't lives... like that the two zeros look different. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't? I don't. Mm. Adds personality, you know? Mm -mm. I don't want any personality. Uh, so you want zero personality? Yep. That There's a personality with zeros. There's a zero personality, Alexa. That's exactly what you're asking for. Yeah. Um, together, I thought you, I'm surprised you felt walked into that one. Together yeah, with his best friend Toby, 
and other rodents. They must, uh, wait. Oh, a different oh, zero again. Zero personality. Hell yeah. That's what wow, I'm talking about. All the zeros. Are all right, here we go. Ahead. All right, Titan Quest 2. Oh, there's Mickey. <laughs> what is that? All right, there's Gothic. Hmm. AW or Alone in the Dark, South Park Snow Day, Cosmic saying? Shake, Ooh. Play of the Hunter. I don't know this. Oh, oh, Outcast, dude. Uh, THQ Nordic, man. I'm here. They have a lot of games. I'm showing up. I'm showing up. I'm labeled. <gasps> dude, destroy. Uh, I would be so hyped if they if they announced game. another Destroy All Humans because Destroy All Humans Two Reprobed is. Yeah, you loved that. I love that we game. Talked about that a lot. I also had interest in uh, Outcast 2, uh, or Outcast A New Beginning, but um, I, I just, <laughs> it's a pretty lengthy game, and I just haven't had the time to go get, get into it. Um, Wreckfest? very well edited. <laughs> Darksiders is also THQ Nordic. I don't, is it still? I'd imagine so. The Darksiders is owned... I'm intrigued Ooh. about this Mickey game. What'd you say? I'm intrigued by the Mickey game. Yo, oh, it's like a big game. It's a remake. Oh. Came out on the I PS3. I heard of it. Ooh, what's this? This looks like something I'd be terrible at. <laughs> this is a game and not just an intro. It does look like it's just their intro. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Could be a game too, though. Don't let the calm exterior fool you. A weepy game. The surface, this place I see art of this. Or weappy? No hero could ever cool. save it. What the hell? Very like the art style is very like two thousands. Yeah, sure. What is going on here? I have no idea. What the <laughs> What? The monkey's on fire. Now the bird's on fire. So everything's on fire. <laughs> Everything died. Luckily, Goldman is no hero. Oh, Yo. This is a side scrolling platformer? Interesting. This looks dope. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him run. <laughs> it's like old man Naruto running, like <laughs> with his cane. His cane is what he shoots. Ooh, through it's shark with shark with shark traps. Yeah, this game looks great. Honestly, this is a really cool style. Yeah, I'm terrible at these kind of games. What do you mean, Alexa? You, you did great at Warrior of the Blind Forest. You and Aust Austin would like this probably. Yeah, yeah. Austin, Nick, I think everyone but you. This is a target audience. <laughs> I like these games. I'm just awful at them. It, it, honestly, it feels like a Cartoon Network, like, you know, like I can see that. Gravity Falls-esque. Mm. You know what I mean? Like that art style and that a uh, little bit of that wildness, too. Mm. Someone might say Steven Universe. I would say earlier, but yeah. Dr. Gilbert says the people we have feelings for can never really leave us. Is that true? That voice is so ominous. It sure is. Okay. Gold. Oh, this is it. The, the eternal, eternal life, life of Goldman. Goldman. I like it. That looks cool. Good vibes. I think it'll have a really cool story along with the platforming too. From what I agree. Like. <gasps> Little bit workshop. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. Aww. Cute. Well, <coughs> this seems to be up your alley. <coughs> Jesus. Yeah. Aww. 
This looks cool. Space for sale. Cute name. Demorage Game Studio. Yeah. The Little Big Workshop was loads of fun. Damn, they really invested in this uh, these like transitions it. for their. They did. They're sick. On to the next one. Oh, there it is. When did the original come out, would you say? 2008, probably. Mm, okay. I could be wrong. <laughs> Oh, uh, so you're like bringing a uh, theme park back to life as Mickey? Yep. Yeah, people really, I mean, obviously they're bringing it back, so I'd, <laughs> they'd have to have some sort of a fan base, but. Mm. The concept feels vaguely familiar. I probably saw stuff for it back in the day. Can't remember if it was on the Wii as well. Probably, it feels like a Wii or, you It know. does, because, like, how the paintbrush moves. Like, I could totally see that being, like... I just remember the... I could picture the PS3 cover, though. Looks fun, though. I've, I've never played it myself, but... It does. You know, now that you said Wii game, I'm like, this really looks like it would be a good Wii game. Because you'd just be able to, like, you know, point with your controller. The Wii was awesome. One of the best game consoles. Wow. You coming in here with controversial takes like that, Alexa? <laughs> oh, my God. So happens when you bring me on to Respawn Station. I I, I asked for Ollie to be a co-host, but he, he he was busy. Yeah, I know. He has a lot of plans. I think he had a nap scheduled at this time. This is interesting. We had a receive exclusive costume in a 24-hour early Ooh, access release. Uh -huh. It's like original skits. These are like from really old ver like shorts. Like some of the original shorts were those uh, styles, in case you didn't know. Epic Mickey Rebrushed. Yep. Rebrushed is a pretty good name, too, for a remaster. It is. I gotta say, though, that poster looked cooler than anything they showed us in the trailer. Oh, yeah? In my opinion. It looked fine. Like, it didn't look bad, but that poster looked much cooler. Yep, breakfast. Vroom, vroom. They hurt you pretty bad, didn't they? I haven't seen you this scarred since last September. Come on, move it! Get out of my way, jerk! <laughs> Reacted a bit too much. But we'll get you sorted out. Come on! Move it! Get the fuck out of my way! God damn it, that one! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I like the juxtap juxtaposition here. Right, they're like really like peaceful, like Next dramatic, time. romantic. I'm, I'm getting hints of romance actually. Temper. Oh, for sure. Lots of romance. This is me when I drive. At any moment, that could they could that other scene could cut to TLC, my strange obsession. Is that what it is? is that what it's called? My strange addiction. No. Oh. Breakfast. Breakfast too. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like the voice acting. Yeah. Titan Quest 2. Damn. They're really doing the most. I think that's what this is, because I think it's all kind of, you know, matches the theme of whatever they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. 
explore a land of myth. Answer Fate's Call. What kind, of, what kind of game is Titan's Quest 2? I haven't played the first one, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Looks so, sort of Diablo-esque? Yeah. Interesting. This looks pretty cool. Yeah. Obviously not like on the Diablo 4 level of like fidelity, but still like I just like the way they're using everything. It looks, looks nice. Damn. <laughs> okay. Don't get crabby. <laughs> Cool. These kind of games are really hit or miss for me, so I, I'm curious to check it out. But mm -hmm. so, like, there's time. Like, I played a game la like this last year. You can re re read my review on respawnstation.com. I'm not gonna say what game it is, so you have to kind of go dig in. Um, but I was not a huge fan, fan of it, and so. How are you going to the name? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't need to go out of my way to just shit talk a game. <laughs> hey, this game looks cool, but let me <laughs> actually, this game, this other game though. <laughs> Bro, boss. I, for some for some reason, I thought it was like an RTS or like a tactical game of some sort. If it, I'll try it out. Grimlord Games, THQ Nordic. Titan. Similar games is a cool name, too. Yeah, it is. I think the only... Unless there's some surprises, the only one that I know that I'll be, I'm looking forward to here is the Gothic 1 remake. Send him in. Because... It's been a game that I've been wanting to go in for a, like play for a while, oh, and the old ones. Just... Speak progress. of the dude, ask and you shall receive, huh? There we go. There we go. I've played Risen, um, and I've played Elix. Welcome to the Valley of Mines, an immense penal colony. For the war against the orcs, the I think this is Gothic. I could be wrong. Of the kingdom of Mertana, the king needed ore to supply his armies. So every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinis. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out his best magicians to create a magical barrier around the entire valley. But something disturbed the creation of the barrier, trapping everyone inside. Oh, no. The convicts revolted and took control of the colony. They divided into three camps. Cool concept. The old camp is satisfied with the current situation. As long as they deliver the ore, the king supplies them with everything they need. The new camp, however, thinks they can use the ore to blow up the barrier. Mm. And then there is the sect from the swamp. They believe that a mysterious new deity will free them from their prison. Thus begins your journey in the open world of the Valley of Mines. That's cool. Creating Gothic Remake, yep. we focus on the four pillars that we consider the core of the series. Simulation of a living world, exploration, story, and combat. Like the original Damn. 2001 <laughs> title, That's brutal. Gothic Remake is set on creating an immersive and realistic world. Enjoy a complex life simulation on a scale hardly ever <laughs> seen before in a video game. Really? During the day, the inhabitants of the colony carry out a variety of activities, while That's nature, cool. rich in all its diversity, lives out its own rhythm. All this gives the impression that this world can exist without the player. Explore the colony on your own and enjoy the unprecedented freedom this open world offers. In true RPG fashion, you decide when and where you go next. Meet numerous interesting characters, understand their inner motivations, and earn their respect by completing a series of elaborate Tracks. quests. How you solve or handle their problems depends entirely on your choices. 
No matter when, in what order, or if you do anything at all, the game will always respond appropriately to your decisions. That's cool. Experience a complex and demanding combat system with satisfying character progression. It'd be interesting to see how using a variety of if they change the gameplay because them from a distance mm. or, learn the or if they're going to try to preserve what the original was because like you know playing Risen and Risen came after Gothic Risen is stiff and it's it, it's it does not feel like a modern game We're aware that when creating a remake of a beloved title it is hard to live up to the expectations of its long-term fans mm -hmm. Well, that's However, me. we feel there is room to develop the experience further oh. by telling new stories from the colony huh? and expanding on those that diehard fans have known for more than two decades. Oh, so it's like it actually adds content. We are also focusing our attention on enhancing many aspects mm, of gameplay, there you go. Dude. such as diverse NPC routines and reactions, Asking you shall receive. more complex crafting, and more rewarding character progression. Okay, so it's the gameplay mechanics, not like... Time, Gothic mm. remains in the hearts and minds of many players. With the possibilities of Unreal Engine 5 and a variety of modern features, Gothic Remake will soon rekindle that love. Whether you've been a loyal fan for years or are just looking for a true RPG experience, welcome back to the colony. Gothic Remake. Noise. Hell yeah. That was cool. Yeah, no, it, they, yeah, they really showcased it well. It, it still, again, it still looks stiff, but like, but again, it, it's part we of the. Also said it in progress, yeah. Yeah, but it's also part of the package. I wouldn't be surprised if like that's you know how it looks. Like that's just the. Mm. Oh, here's way of the hunter, I think. Yeah. You know, bunnies in this game. This is the opposite of Endling. Extinction is forever. This is you're uh what you're what I ran away from. Yeah. I have played this game. I there is one clip I hit in this game that like yeah. I remember <laughs> it was just me I turn around and I was like, Oh, I need a bird and then I just shot it into the into the sky and it, and it hit it hit a bird. Uh it was on stream. People people can check that out. Yeah. But that was a fun moment. The game looks really good, I gotta say. A lot of pretty moments in that game. It's not seamless or anything, you know? Looks like a video game. Yeah, but, but hey, I mean, I prefer, really you pretty. know, you go shoot, the uh, you know, in video game than real life. Except if you're hunting that one owl, then go go wild. Did you hear about this, Alexa? No. There's, like, this uh, uh, species of owl that's, like, overgrowing. And so they're like this year, they're like, I think it's like a hundred thousand owls they're trying to kill of the specific type because it's like, oh, yeah. it's it so keep, many, it's it, so overpopulated. It's overpopulated and it's eating like the prey of the other owls. So like the local owls are struggling. Oh, damn. Are they invasive? Like, yeah, there's an invasive owl species. Mm. I forget where, but honestly, I would, I would get back into this game because it is like, you, you can just kind of just play it, you know? You can play on mobile. Get it on your new uh, iPad. <laughs> I'm not just going to play everything on my iPad. Is this not oh, a mobile? There's a new reserve. Look. That's what this was for. All right. This is Alone in the Dark, I'm guessing. Or Control. You never know. These are really cool animations, though. Mm-hmm. Like like the way they have the queue show up. Mm -hmm. I got their queue kind of looks like a backwards question mark. I'm sure they also are like that, you know. This is probably the last one, actually. I, yeah, I'd say so. This is going to be the E. Oh, my God. That was horrible. I hated that. Worldwide game reveal. Gamescom opening night live August 20th. Trait. This is the one. Okay, okay. 
Whoa. All right, so you have these games out there on the screen right here. Which one is your favorite? Is that Tracer Games? Is that what that said? Oh, I think. Uh, okay, so hold on one sec. Let me. Just, I'm just curious. Tracer Studios. I'm curious oh, what. Wait, there's something more. There's something more. Tar's Year Studios. Are you looking? There's more. Oh no, I was just. What was the, What's the more? There's something playing. I'll go back. After the they show the six titles. Oh. There have been post credit scenes for these showcases now. Everything. What the hell? <gasps> is that Dark Right or Dark Dark Siders? Is that what is that what that is? <laughs> is that, they just tease that at the end? Is that what that tease is? Prepare to ride again. Did I say Dark Siders? Am I? Ooh, okay. What? To, to, as of today. Oh, sorry, you're behind. What is it? You'll see it in a second. It's text on screen at 31:20. As of today, THQ Nordic, uh, not, uh, and Handy Games not included, has 23 games in development. Therefore, uh, thereof, 13 still unannounced after this showcase. Thanks for watching. All right. Yep. I'm not sure what this is. Well, again, we'll we'll get into it yeah, on the that's podcast. That's actually everything now. <laughs> uh, but all right, so Tarzir Studios. That's they're the developers of Little Nightmares. Oh, that two. was pretty fun. That was the one I played. Little Nightmares Two. It's scary. Interesting. Yeah. No. Uh. Cool. Uh, their next game. Uh. On. That was when I started. Gamescom the game. opening night live. Uh. And obviously, we had Wreckfest Two. Honestly. Short and sweet showcase. Really liked it. Uh, I, was wimp I was like, I like went to check the time, and I was expecting there'd be like ten minutes left, and there's only like three minutes left, and I was like, oh, all right. Yeah, and I, I think that um, the one that caught me by the surprise the most is the Eternal Life of Goldman or Goldman. Mm -hmm. um, agree, agree. And then Titan Quest Two is the one that I think kind of sold me the most. I like Space for Sale the best personally. Of course you did. Of course you did target audience um but then also the eternal life of goldman did look really cool i would love to watch one of you guys play <laughs> wow i would just i'm too bad at those side scrollers well uh if wants me rage quit another game i'll play it maybe well that's the thq showcase for 2024 hopefully you guys enjoyed again a solid showcase uh you know <laughs> short so it's like you can't be too mad uh hope you guys right, enjoyed short and sweet Check out the Response Station podcast to hear Nick and I talk more about all the games that are announced and maybe share a little bit of more of our opinions. Again, I think that's Darksiders, but I could be wrong. But honestly, like every time I, I feel like I said something in this showcase, it, it happened. Like I was like, I wonder if yeah. we'll, this will happen. And then it's like, oh, this is happening. Uh, How's the gameplay, though? And then <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the gameplay. I'm glad you asked. Um, but with that said, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit the like button <laughs> let's go say our favorite and subscribe like subscribe and check out uh watch.responsestation.com for more content with that said as always until next time have a good night a good morning and a damn good time <laughs>